hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is memuna popular known as black arab and today's video is going to be you know i posted a link on instagram blah 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 and i told people to tell me you know interesting moments in their life or if i moment you know any moment any interesting moment that someone could react to and i got quite a few just and then we are going to be reacting to just few and if you are a new subscriber um thank you for coming thank you for tuning in please stay till the end and you know subscribe afterwards and if you're a returning subscriber much love appreciate <laughs> my g <laughs> so yeah let's get right to the, into the video i'm going to put the link in the description box of this video so should in case anybody has anything and you are going to be completely anonymous i think i should emphasize on that you're going to be completely anonymous so let's make it a thing you know let's make it an interesting thing it is it's, it's, it's an interesting thing what are you scared of it's going to be anonymous myself i'm not even going to know who posted who so if you feel ah why should i tell you this than this than this about my life just know it is anonymous and we are going to try as much as possible not to be judgy so when you say fans period this gary is heavenly it's very nice like gary without sugar cold water gary without granules just gary I don't know about you but i'm loving this uh so united i got quite a few so let's read them so this one is i'm coming uh okay so she said for the first time i visited she said some icon for the first time i visited my mother-in-law everything was going smoothly Oh, until when she said I should make pap. Oh my, I went crazy. This was in bracket because I don't know how to make pap on ground except I cook it on on the fire. You get. She placed kettle on fire and said I should make the pap on ground. Ah, let's continue. I called my mom at home. Sha, my mom was like, "Si mubani koma foju si meto dele o o ma o ni dau shoti shoti si." I remember I was trying to say she be like, okay, let me just explain. She went to her mother's in law. She went to her mother's in law. What's mother's in law? She went to her mother in law's place and then um, she also to make pop. And there are different methods. You can actually make your pop on ground or while it is on fire. And she prefers the one on fire. But her mother in law wanted her to make the one on, <laughs> make the one on ground. She now called her mom. In me, in this situation, I will never call my mom. Because that's when you be hearing what I want to do. She will tell you what you see better than you was a picking. My mother will even say, She will tell you what you see kitchen and you are kitchen. If I say she come to the kitchen, will you not come to the kitchen? So, like, kill her to him, baby. Whoa, I bet you after that they go, you still hear the story. So, she, her mother was like, She be, I told you to put, you know, put, put your. Put your mind in this method. You say no. Well, after giving me tips, I'm gonna give. Ah, I'm gonna is all you. Perhaps still no rise. Oh yeah. She later came to do her thing herself. Sha. She can't tell her son. Say she thinks I be. She thinks I am a more body. She has taught me now. Sha. I'm not a pro. <laughs> you're very lucky. Yo. Honestly, you're very lucky. Number one. Lucky in the sense that you have a good mother-in-law. That. Sees it as okay, uh -uh. she be young, but uh, you cannot do this method. Some people will just totally just feel, mm, mm, mm. what do you mean? This you know, Sabi cook pal, whichever method I give you to cook, you are you are a, you are in disgrace. Very disgrace. Some people will be like, I'm not even joking. Some other in laws are going to be like, but some other in laws are very nice at understanding, you know. But you're lucky, Sha. And you're lucky that your mother just said that my mom 
My mom might not even she might give me tips. But I swear to God, it's going to be like a a year thing. I'm going to hear the story for like a year. Or ten years. So but she be canning, she be keep, she be you know all this you know all these moments where they be like, Yes, I knew this was gonna happen and now it has happened. Triple man so I just to give her, I just to give her that chance of, uh, she be, mm -mm. I will just keep mute, but yeah, <laughs> I'm happy for you, shall. So next one is, well, I am talking to someone who is way more religious and knowledgeable than I am. I've always said I wanted someone that would be better than me and challenge me to be better. But now that I'm getting to know such person, it is a lot. <laughs> Sorry, let's continue. I am not where he wants me to be, and the more he tries to correct me about matters of the dean, I just get irritated. I don't know if that is me just being arrogant or if it is him presenting stuff the wrong way. It's very like romantic and stuff. We talk about all same things, but somehow I still feel like I'm going to be unhappy in my marriage. Maybe that is just because of societal beliefs or stuff that happened to people. I know that I've, I know that, I know that I've married very religious. Okay, okay, maybe, okay, okay, sorry. So, she said maybe that is because of societal belief and stuff that happened to people I know that have married oh, very religious husband. <laughs> I don't know. It is the whole thing. So, dear poster, it is you. Either said you've said it that is you don't know if it is you being arrogant or him not putting it in the best way. And okay, let us just go to the beginning. You want someone that is religious, that want that will like push you to do better, right? That's just what you want. So I want you to sit down, and you know. Try to know Allah yourself. Like, try to be religious yourself. Try, don't base everything on, okay, I want this person because that's part you are getting married to him. To be the basis of you learning the religion. If it is going to be that way, even if you are not even feeling this way right now, or he's putting it in the best of form or best, best of manner, but the, for, uh, for, the, for the foundation, I want to say fundamental, but the foundation is him, Having to be the one to like push you or be the one to make you a religious person, there's going to be an issue whenever any issue occurs in the marriage. Like, you are, you want to go back to this and be like, Why did I even do it? Why did I do it? I'm doing it because of him. I'm look at what he's doing. Like, you have you always have this look at what he's doing, and I'm doing it because of him mindset. And it's not going to make sense because if it's a matter of religion, you have to do it yourself. Look for like, you have to do this set. I'm not saying you don't need someone to push you. Everybody needs someone to remind them of Allah. But I want you to be the one to do it yourself. I don't know if you get me. Do it yourself. Do the research yourself. Be the one to be your first... Uh, what do you call it? Cheerleader. Be your... Make I put Gary down. Make you know, say, I this serious. Because this is really serious. Uh, make yourself your cheerleader. Make yourself be the one... Make yourself be the one pushing yourself to be better don't make it on that man she gets i don't know how the man is putting it because approach also matters matters a lot when you are correcting someone about the dean or you are trying to make someone good in the dean approach or matter and how you do it but i want it to be the basis of it you yourself so it should not it's not be an issue because now you said it's romantic like you people talk about stuff but you don't want it to be like you end up getting married to him and then um, things you've seen about people that come married to a religious person is now happening to you you don't want then it is very simple don't base this don't base it off him try to tell him i don't know if you might have discussed with him that okay i want you to be the one to be doing all this thing try tell him to tune it down Try to really sit down because honestly, you will know if it is the guy that is doing it the wrong way or it is you just being kilo day. It's already too much because I can understand that it's already too much, especially when you want it to be, you want it to be like 
gently just let it be going smoothly small small baby step you don't want to rush it i can understand where you feel <laughs> so you need to check yourself check what exactly i really hope i really do hope like you get one or two things from what i've said yeah that would challenge me that challenge that's what is causing issue i don't cause an issue so just take it baby step don't rush yourself and try to look at is he doing it in a way that is annoying or is you that is being arrogant you need to check yourself too all of my sharing on me allow me get easy and um, if you now feel after thinking doing everything doing everything right and you just feel mm, it's not gonna work just do your easy coral and allah is going to like make things easy for you in a, as per you getting married to him at the long run you get do your easy coral because that's it's very powerful prayer to make when you're indecisive so yeah next is, she said my wasn't juicy but it is getting juicy now oh <laughs> crew and she said she now said got married 2018 at 21 guy fucked up and i left 2021 at 24 years old i am celebrating 25th today with all happiness i didn't regret my action i have been life for you I'm happy for you. I have you like you found happiness because what is in this life other than finding happiness and you not regretting your actions? She gets so for you to have left, that means something happened, something that really like oh I need to leave. So I'm not even going to say too much because I have like you left and I have like you are you find happiness now. Because that's it. Everybody should just don't come and spoil my don't come and spoil my life and everything you know everything is gathered right now so i don't want to so there was this man that we've been together for about two years and we're already talking about marriage only for me to know through his cousin that he's already that he, he has already gone to do nikah preps with another lady he already met her parents and they've shoot chosen date and i was left in the dark still doing love her girl <laughs> i asked him about it he said he didn't know how he was going to tell me that is why he didn't talk about it sha they got married <laughs> took me almost a year to move on because i really loved him he was my first love they had a child they have a child now and he came back to me saying he wants he wants me to be his second wife. I have suffered. <laughs> Girl, you've suffered. I don't know what to do. I am afraid I might develop feelings for him again. I've not been able to love someone else like I did with him. But what what do you think I should do? I think you all already know what I'm about to say. Mm, let me let me drop the phone. Let me drink water, girl. Mm. Oh. Girl, you are asking me what you want to do, and you say you are scared that you might develop feelings for him because you've never loved anyone as you've loved him. And let's count what he has done. You guys were together for two years. He kept you in the dark. He got married to someone else. He has a child now. And he's back. So what? Make you his second wife. Everything is wrong with this. Everything I just mentioned. Okay, number one. You people wait. I already said I'm not going to be judgmental. You people were together. For two years so it did not deem his fit to be like okay i'm really tired and i think i want to settle down and I, I don't feel she's ready so let me just tell her to go in let me marry because it, it can happen you can actually get tired of someone 
or you feel you want to get married, you want to settle down, but this person is not ready. Oh, no offense, no offense. But the offense is you, they are still in the relationship. You now went, you've done the car prep, you've met the other lady parents, you've done everything without telling the lady, without. So now you not even they not ask you, you not say you do know how you say it. That's why. Okay, no problem, sir. Am I love? You now went. She now tried to like you know she tried to gather herself back that okay, let me be normal back and face life. Life has happened, let me face life. So you know what? Bomb picking now come back and say you want to make a second wife. See, um girl, if you are Listen to this. If you are watching this, please. I you know, I understand love. You know, you might feel I've never loved anyone as I love this guy, and blah blah blah. I understand the fact that feelings might enter because he's back again, and it's someone that you loved. But but please, think about what he has done. Why? Why are you even accommodating him at the moment? Like, why? How is he able to come back to you? Like, how did you get your contact? Okay, let's say Instagram. Instagram. There is a feature that you can block someone and you block their generation, generational accounts that they are going to make on that phone. You're going to, there is a feature. Yes, I'm coming with violence to block. There's a feature to. Let's even be serious. Honestly, I feel this guy is, a, is going to be a manipulator in the sense that he already left. And you put, that's like a closed chapter. You don't open it. You don't open a chapter. You don't open a trauma that, that made, made you feel somehow. Because I don't know if you did not feel stupid when you found out that you went to go and take somebody else. Like he's already like doing marriage relation with somebody else. If you now, I don't know, you now, you now even want, you want to make you second wife. See, I'm not even going to say it's love because it's not love. This guy just wants someone that is going to be able to control. He's going to be under his wings. That, okay, because just, oh, why? Why make you the second wife? Why come back to you and be like, hey, yeah, still. But number one, number two, he has a wife already. Just one kid and he's looking for a second wife. Um, the man wants to spoil your life again. Um, yes, the man wants to spoil your life again. And then who knows? Go face another trauma because I see. Cool down. I don't think you are going to. You are not going to face what you faced before when he left you again. If you end up with, if you end up like accepting that man or developing feelings for him the rest are sure that you're going to face it because he's going to do it again and he's going to see as an easy target because it's going to be like oh, i left that i went to marry somebody else i have a child and now i'm back there i want to be and that's my second wife it's going to be like easy peasy really easy i can tell her to do and undo and she's going to answer because what this guy is madly in love with me Guys, you need to know how guys think. They know what they are doing. They know what they are doing. You don't have mumu guys. Know. Guys know what they are doing. And they like to be in control. So please, think about it. What I'm saying to think about it is because it is you. I cannot force you. But think about it. But you look at my face. Think about it. Boy, you're looking at my face right now. Let him go. You are going to find somebody that you love. That Allah is going to send to you. Pray. God is going to send someone far, far better. People are wicked, shall. I'm currently going through a hard time. To be honest, I'm not even sure if it's a breakup. But this is the safest thing to call it. My parents want me to be done with school, so I've called I've called it quit since it is not technically allowed for us to keep it going for a few more years. And honest, honestly, 
I understand them. I've been crying so hard that even if I smile, smile this second, this very second, I could literally be crying in the next. But I know that Allah is with me. It is just really hard. He yeah, lies with you. And yes, I understand what you are going through. And Mio, I want to say something. Are you ready to settle down? Is the person, is the guy ready to settle down? I think if both of you are ready, in all aspects, don't look at love, like every other aspect of people settling down. If both of you are ready, I think you should find someone to talk to your parents and um, work it out. But if you see you are not ready, don't use emotion to think about it. If you see you are not ready and it's also not ready, don't worry. It is just an outbreak. I'm saying just because it is just for the moment, for a period of time. It takes time because <laughs> I have friends. I know people that... I know someone that took more than a year to get over someone. More than a year to get over someone. I, I don't know how... I, people are different. Yeah, so I understand. But even if it is more than a year... It is still going to be like you are going to get over it. Don't worry, you are going to get over it. But what I said in the beginning, if you guys are ready, like you guys are ready, just find someone to talk to your parents because we are we are parents. My dad also wanted me to do my masters before I settle down, but I'm in my husband's house and I've not done masters. There are some people that their parents want them to finish school before they get settled down and now they are married not because they ran away or elope or forced their self or you get they found a way so if they found a way because they are ready please if you are not ready don't even think about it just immerse yourself in Allah's worship and all of that and try to do something that makes you happy you see that and try to be sure that everything you are doing, you are not seeing the person again or doing things that are going to make you remember the person. Because if you do something like that, you are not going to move forward. You are going to be static. So, Jebure, Pale, it's going to be, it's going to be fine. It's going to be well. Things are going to be all right. So, please. Maro, too much. <laughs> The next one is, um, I think mine will be something relating to relationship. I used to date this guy in my 200 level. My birthday would come. He would write poem for me. <laughs> what is your income? Mm, Shakespeare. <laughs> Shakespeare. Yeah, Shakespeare. He write poem, poem for me, which I used to appreciate, but no gift. He knew how I loved gifts, even if it is a bathroom slippers. I just thought to be give. I just love to be gifted. It's better will come, and I'll reach out to him to the extent of spending my last couple. We gro- we broke up after a year. He was already in his finals. I was in three hundred level. My mumu made my mumu still made him a birthday cake and some other gifts when he convoked. When he convoked, that's he did convocation. I still liked him small. So <laughs> let me continue. Last month, Baba ordered gifts and cake from me for his new babe. I am a baker. Or oh, more, I want craze. I was done with him. She's done with him, but she won't craze. But then he used to tell me he doesn't like gifting, giving people gifts and celebrating them on his socials. He went, he went all out for the babe. Shao. He even requested that I write some beautiful lines for the babe. I wrote it to ask for business, but we moved, Sha. That's I tell you that guys, they know they know what they want. Guys know what they want. They know what they are going after. They already thought about it before they do it. So, you see this guy now. He does not like you. I think you are the one that liked him, and you already know this because if someone should know your um, what's the there's the word for it? Um, I don't know. Act of service. You know, um, gifts and gifts. Being in the moment, I'll be able to be 
I've forgotten love language. Yes. If someone should know your la- love language and they are not doing it, just forget about it. They don't want to do it. It's not like they forgot or anything. And you said he doesn't. He said he doesn't like celebrating people's birthday. For he went all out for this baby because he liked the babe. This babe is going all out for telling, even telling you. He's trying to like tell you that guy. Let me say I know they do um, but because I didn't like you then. That's why I didn't do this for you. But you see this babe now. I mean to do this for her. He never said she right. <laughs> Thank God you are over her because you are over him. Sorry, because it it must have felt wow. I've been so stupid. <laughs> this guy don't do me yeah yeah. <laughs> but the coco is here over him, so it's going to be like ah wow. Guys can be guys, shall because what can you call them apart from guys? <laughs> If you don't like somebody, guys, I don't think that guys like something like this. They like, it's not all guys, but there are some guys that like the attention they get from you. They don't like you, but they just like the attention they get. They can, they can do anything. They can go through anything to get the attention from you. And they are not going to define the relationship. They will never define it. They will never def- define it. And they will always find a way to get to make sure you are giving them that attention that they so much crave for meaning that midnight call you want to do they're going to give you that game or whatever they're going to give you to just get that attention but they're not going to be doing what is expected of someone in a relationship to do do you get like the going all out they're not going to go all out but they'll be doing some aspects of your life and you'll be like ah this was like Iraburuku ko like ko suswaju. Ah, people are evil, Shah. Now that they say don't do it, if you want to do anything, just marry ASAP. No, we know the year what. So another one is I found out my best friend likes my potential boyfriend. A potential boyfriend. <laughs> See. Is it like 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 or definitely it is like 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 is before you to type it is like 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 it's not like maybe she just like him but people are somehow sha or you're just somehow you know your best friend is like his check is winning this person and you you are like every much a competition why do you like drama why do you like drama why i don't know why people like drama me i hate drama in my life i always say that something's already going out it is not even supposed to be mm? I don't come out. Which time they find? But well, people just like drama. And I don't know. Like why? Why would you be liking your your best friend? Boys potential boyfriend. Boys even potential. It's not your boyfriend. But it's not it does not still make sense. It does not still make sense. And I've seen I love you the last is some new friend. Thank you. I love you too. So that's a life dilemma. Knowing that each minute is passing by and I still don't know what to do with my life. I'm a, I don't know if I can relate, but I understand. Like, you, there's sometimes you just feel for the past one month, what have I done with my life? And you just be like, I've nothing. Like you yourself, you answer him like I've not done something serious in my life. Like what am I? What am I? What am I doing in my life? It's actually a, it's a serious thing. But if you catch yourself thinking that okay, what have I done in my life? I think you should just be like you sitting there and be like, what do I really need to do? But it is. I don't want to say it is okay because to me it is okay to not get life figured out at some point in your life because you just you just be living you're waking up you're eating you're waking up you're eating and i think i was going to, i went to that phase before i got married that covid period i was just like it was just like oh when another year oh covid is off oh covid has reduced those period i don't know what i was i was just there so it happens eh? come on Shan. It is well also. <laughs> this video is very long. I did not know it's going to be very long. I was thinking short, 
short hours, few hours come short video. But now, a few hours come see long video. I too it talk. But if you got to this point of the video, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, watch till the very end, and um, share my video. Thank you very much. Love you. Bye.